Welcome back, folks, to Let's Replay Stonekeeper. When last we left off, we are within the Palace of Shadows, that itself is in the Realm of Shadows. Skulls decided not to join us, he didn't want to die, so it is Drake, Enigma, and Sparkle to face the threats of the Palace of Shadows alone, like the various undead that guard the halls. This skeleton, for instance, this skeleton that we've softened up a lot, with our axe and with combat. And although it doesn't seem like this axe is doing anything, it is indeed. It's a really good axe, but that is not the only skeleton here. There is another skeleton within this corridor, one that we need to take care of. I think the skeleton is just around the corner, waiting for us to say hello. Yes indeed, there he is. You can also see a tiny bit of healing going on there, and that is very good because we don't want to use our resources. On the other hand, we have absolutely loads of resources. We have all of the rune scepters that are just full of magic. We also have the healing orb that will fully restore our party. We have the orb that will fully restore our mana. We have all of the potions. We have all of the roots that we have. And we also have the ability to leave the Shadow Realm, go to a mana circle, and replenish all of our rune scepters again. Hello there, skeleton! How are you? We have copious amounts of fire to take care of you! Will this be enough? Probably not. We'll just move past you, throw this, and then leave. That should probably have softened you up a tiny bit. Enough that we can throw this at you. Enough that we can gain a point of skill, apparently! Marvelous. It's a shame that the people here that are guarding the Palace of Shadows still haven't figured out how doors work yet. It appears that I cannot actually reach them. There is some sort of moving wall in the way, and I can imagine Cole Coombe looking at this and going, Oh no, they're using doors, aren't they? Why did I build doors in my palace? And thus, doors were the downfall of Cole Coombe. You should fall pretty soon, hopefully. We really don't want to face you in close combat. We are really ill-suited for close combat. We do have amazing armor, and we also have brilliant sword skill. Unfortunately, sword skill isn't really what we want right now. We want hammer skill. We have absolutely no hammer skill. I imagine we could gain a lot of hammer skill, but it's a little bit late to be gaining hammer skill. Really should have thought about that. You moved over to the right slightly, and now you are gone. It's quite important that we pick up all of these items. We don't want these uh, skeletons to get back up. Anyone over here? The answer is no. More healing. Even better. There are more skeletons, though. And this axe I don't think will hit them. Never mind! This axe will hit them! That is quite fantastic. We could just stand here and throw this at you all day. But you know what? I actually want to attack you with some of this magic. Have at thee! Copious amounts of fire! Let's just move past you. This is a very long corridor, which will allow us to use even more magic. And then move past you again. Would you like some more magic? I bet you would! You probably wouldn't. But that's okay. Because we can take you with this magic! And then leave. This uh, rune scepter is almost expended. There we go. You're probably suitably softened up. The one problem I imagine with having two enemies here is that one of them will stop us from grabbing all of this. Never mind, we were able to grab that quite easily. Which means that that skeleton isn't coming back. I don't think, however, that this is the way that we want to go if we want to progress. There are two corridors on each side. One of them leads to a mirror, and I think this is the one that leads to a mirror. Hello! You are gone. Excellent. Both of you are taken care of. What is down here? It looks like a mirror. We don't want to go through the mirror. We just want to leave, but we will mark down that the mirror is here. We definitely want to note that. There we go! Excellent. But what is over here, or more importantly, what is around that we haven't yet done anything about? The answer, if we check the Orb of Afri, is... There are a lot of enemies over here. We're gonna have to take care of the two skeletons that are guarding that route. Or we could just run past the two skeletons that are guarding that route. That is an option. 
we could try it. It can't hurt. We'd have to uh, turn around and uh, face the opposite direction and sort of back up to the door. That would work. But here they are. They're a little bit shorter than the other skeletons. That doesn't mean that they're any less deadly. We could fight you, or we could not fight you. Let's save before we decide which we're going to do. We're probably going to fight you. I don't want to leave enemies just standing around. And so, we have to see if the axe will hit them. No. And the axe will just hit the uh, doors themselves if we try and aim over there. We might have to use our magic. It doesn't hurt. We might as well. Can we hit you here? Not like that, but if we move in, we could definitely get a few hits in. And then we'll have to move past you. And it's a good thing that this area is entirely empty. Can we hit you now? No. That's not good. Not good at all. Fortunately, we have more magic. We have more magic than we can blast fireballs with. Actually, we could probably blast a lot of fireballs. Let's use this one until Igma is fully healed, and then we'll do the focused healing. Like so. That will get us all much healthier. And then we're going to use more fire. We're going to walk past you, and then see if we can get a better angle here. The answer is probably not. No, no we can't, and facing you in melee is foolish. You know what? I'm actually going to move past you. You're not going to stop us from going past, and we can move on to the next area. I thought I was going to face you. I changed my mind. Through here we go. There are more enemies here, and hopefully these enemies are not skeletons, and are instead floating skulls. Any foes here? The answer is there is one directly around this corner. There's also one there, and one there. Can we see this foe? No, we cannot. Can we see you now? Aha! Hello! We don't want you to get close. We want to just keep you at a distance. And then use all of our... Excellent! All of our powers to best you. There are probably more foes that are soon going to appear. But if we're careful, we can face them one at a time. Anyone here? Hello! How are you? You're soon to perish. That is some impressive magic. Fortunately, it does wear off after a while. There's a foe around here somewhere. A third! There you are! Hello! We definitely want to keep our distance, though. You have quite a nasty melee attack. But when you're trying to do that melee attack, you're not using your ranged magic. Let's just, uh, grab this, shall we? If you didn't have enough skulls before you got here, you're going to collect plenty of them. That's for sure. We can't seem to open up the place in the middle. There seems to be at least one enemy there. Right there. But we haven't found anything to open the way. Maybe there is a switch that we haven't seen. We haven't found any secret switches. We'll have a look for that later. For now, we're just looking around and, uh, trying to defeat foes. There's got to be some enemies here. There are no enemies here. I like the fact- Ah, hello! You're really just going to stay there, are you? Bad news for you. You'll try and shoot us through that door, but we can just close the door, can't we? Yes, we can. You're also going to, uh, be very particular as to where we can throw this axe. Does it change every time we hit you? Ah, you can't even get that through a door, it would seem. Unfortunate for you. Very unfortunate, in fact. You really should have magic that can shoot through doors. Shouldn't be too long before we best you. Can we throw this higher up? Aha! That went all the way over there, didn't it? Yes, it did. Unfortunate, there are actually a lot of foes here. It's probably a good idea that we uh, get this skull as quickly as possible. There we go. They have been bested. Both of them have been bested. We'll grab this, and we'll grab this. We can heal up that damage later. I believe there is some treasure in here. If we look around, there is some treasure. There's also an enemy. There are two enemies, I think. Or is there only one? Never mind, we have bested that enemy. What is in here? The answer is... More healing! Even more healing! And that's it. Nothing else in here. 
a large corridor where you could face a lot of foes if you just ran in, or if you didn't use Afri's Orb. You really need to use Afri's Orb a lot. Anything in here? Another quite long corridor. I'm going to use the orb here and see if there is anything that's going to attack us. We could probably use the stone thrower at this point. Not a bad idea. But there are no foes here. There is a foe behind us, though. How did that happen? Hello, where did you come from? Let us see if we can take you on. The answer is apparently not. But we'll just hit you here and uh, have you attack us. That should be fine. How did we avoid you? I have no idea. Can we actually hit you? That's a really good question. It would seem... not? Ah, there we go! You're now attacking, which will make this far easier. Brilliant. Thank you, I seemed entirely unable to take care of that foe. Maybe that was one of the skulls that we didn't manage to pick up. Either way, we're now going to use the Orb of Afri once again, the most useful orb, and see if there are any foes ahead of us. There is not, but there's a foe over there we need to be careful of. Over here we go. Further down, and past, or corridor. There's another area here that I imagine is going to be full of even more skulls. The answer is yes! In fact, the same number of skulls, in the same locations. Let's be mindful of that, as we go this way. Hello! How are you? Are you well? You're not going to be well for much longer. You're soon going to be defeated. We'll just grab your skull, so that you never appear again. Onwards, my intrepid party! Around the corner, where we shall find another skull. There are many skulls here. Sometimes they even use magic. But it's all irrelevant, because we just heal all the damage anyway. I haven't actually done that much healing. Are you here? Ah, there you are, hello! You're going to try and close the distance. That was a poor, poor idea. For now, we are shooting you with arrows and magic. And we'll just quickly grab this. Onwards! Further into the Palace of Shadows. But I believe we will find another corridor. This corridor here, and we might as well, uh, fill in this small gap. I didn't do that in the, uh, area in the northwest. There are probably going to be some more skulls here. No! Skeletons! How many skeletons? This is an important question. A very important question. One. Just one. I don't actually trust that there is just one. But we shall attack you and see if another skeleton there is another skeleton. Indeed, there were two. Let's just leave, shall we? And the other skeleton has also moved up. Unfortunately, you're in perfect axe-throwing position, which means that you will perish. We really should move, you know. No, it is our duty to stand by this door and be hit by these magical axes. Why don't we have ranged weapons? Ranged weapons are finite. This person seems to be proving otherwise. Oh. It just keeps going back to his hand. It doesn't even fly back, it just goes back. I think we are doomed. I think we are also doomed. Maybe he'll be foolish enough to go into here and attack us with magic. Why would I do that when I've just gained some agility? Marvelous! That means we are even better at dodging attacks. This is a really good way to train various skills. We do need to deal with you, however. Let us get ready some magic. We might as well, we do have a lot of it. We will move past you, and then we shall blast you with fire. But first, we will save. This could go horribly wrong, after all. Many things in the Palace of Shadows could go horribly wrong. This is a very long corridor, and you didn't get an attack off. That's good, because then we could use copious amounts of fire! <laughs> and then quickly move past, then only take a small amount of damage ourselves. Hello! Even more fire! And then we'll move again. You missed there, that is unfortunate for you. More fire! And then we will go back to here. I think that suitably softened you up. Let's see just by how much. Hello! 
We're back here again. He's going to throw more things at us. You did say that he would use fire. We didn't really land any blows. Uh, oh no. Now I'm alone for all eternity. You see that skull move very slightly there. That is what will happen if you decide to wait. Now I have no one to talk to. Hey, adventurer. Would you like to have a conversation? I am now all alone for all eternity. Um, I'm actually just trying to get through here and get the various orbs. What about you, Elf? Do you wish to have a conversation? Not really. What about you, Fairy? Oh, I love conversations! Would you like to have a tea party? That would be fantastic! On second thoughts, you can just kill me now. Yes, just, just kill me. We will! Don't worry! Eventually. Eventually you will perish. You just need to have a little bit more axe to the body. This is a really, really good axe. Imagine having to do this without this axe. And just have throwing an axe and then picking the axe back up and then throwing it again. We could go back in here and attack you in melee. It seems like a dumb idea. And it was entirely unneeded. Because you are dead, we also definitely want to grab this here and that. The skull did move. You saw it. It's very slow, but it does move. Let's keep going, shall we? Anyone around the corner? We'll just put this down. We still have over half of the charge. Imagine if you'd have got it here without that really good rune scepter. There's one enemy around the corner. It's another skeleton. Oh boy! More skeletons! Maybe we could even try and take you on in melee! This is a poor idea. I would not recommend actually doing this. But we're going to try. Hello! How are you? Are you well? You tried to attack us, and we have this weapon. We can easily back away if you deal too much damage, though. You're dealing a lot of damage to us. And damage to Sparkle, and us! Let's just back away a little bit more. And allow Enigma and Sparkle to use their various magics. We're going to desperately try and get to us. One problem, however, we can just do this. You can actually do this for almost every enemy as long as there is a suitably long corridor. Any enemy that doesn't have a ranged attack will barely get a hit off on you, as you just keep going down the corridor and then letting them chase you, and when they get close, you then back away. I think we actually gained a point of something. We gained a point of hammer! We are not entirely untrained in it anymore. Marvelous! And this foe is gone. Let's quickly grab all of these and move on. Now we are only very terribly poor with hammers. Are there any foes in here? That is a really good thing to check. Don't just blindly stumble in, Kiko. Check with this. This is certainly the area where we'll be here the longest. Uh, there are a lot of foes in there, as you can see. There are also two skeletons around this corner. There are also two skeletons. Hello, how are you? We could try and just uh, run past you constantly, but you know what? I feel like magic is probably a better idea. Let's see, this one here in this hand. Always worth saving though, just in case. This is certainly the longest level of the Palace of Shadows. There are far smaller levels. This is the meat and bones of the area. Hello, copious amounts of fire! And then we'll just quickly move past you. Guess what? More copious amounts of fire! And then we'll move past you again. We could even let you attack us. If we let you attack us, then we can get some attacks back. Which is good. Let us uh, quickly uh, actually get all these back. I don't know why I hit those. And ready our hammer. Because we're going to uh, use this and hopefully not perish for our folly. Go. We'll just start turning around right now. Excellent! This plan still works. And they were in single file there for a moment. That's alright though, because we'll then turn around, and they're actually out of sync. You can see that one of them is uh, very slightly ahead of the other. We'll just uh, back up here. Have at thee! We appear to be too slow to stop them from moving away. 
Why don't we run, then? We are incapable of running. We weren't animated with a run animation. Oh, dear. We will eventually take care of them. I don't even know if the uh, magic that... Ooh, that was uh, quite a sound of harm there. I think that was Enigma. But I'm not even sure if uh, they take damage from uh, Sparkle's magic. We're certainly dealing them damage, though. That is quite an attack, though. We probably want to back off in a moment. We definitely want to back off. So that we don't die. We'll be back later. And by later, I mean you're probably going to stand here and then we can just kill you. How much damage did we deal? How much harm did we wrought upon these skeletal beings? I preferred it when they were going up and down the corridor and trying to hit us with that hammer. Me too. They must have got past the other people. They probably did. So they're finally gone. They are. We're going to be gone soon as well. Yes, we probably are. Oh dear. And then the strength thing failed, and we really need to move into here so that we can grab all of this. Oh, careful. We need to grab this. We need to grab this right now. We need to have you move away so that we can grab this. There we go. That could have ended really poorly had we have let uh, that happen. We, however, now only have one foe to take care of, so we can just keep running up and down this corridor. It's safe to say that the combat AI of these foes is not fantastic, but it is still quite a challenge to take care of them. Hello? Will we even get some attacks up on you? Probably. We may gain more points of hammer. Maybe. But right now, we are perfectly suited to take care of you, using all of the tools at our disposal, mainly copious amounts of magic and arrows. And even the hammer occasionally. It's a pretty good hammer. It's a very good hammer. And there we go. You have been bested. Marvelous. What was down here that was worth it? Probably another mirror. Or another really long corridor. This place winds quite a bit. The pathways turn and twist. And slowly but surely, we will get to places like here. And here where there are loads of enemies sort of milling around down a corridor. It's a very big area. It's massive. You can see already just how long it is. And this is reflected, so we'll see all of this on the other side too. But getting through this side first will ensure that at least we've taken care of half of it. And we do need the other part of this symbol. That's in the other half. And so, when we come back, folks, slowly working through the Palace of Shadows. For a final area, it certainly has a lot of challenge. Unfortunately, the challenge predominantly involves going up and down corridors and throwing axes at people. And occasionally, getting points in hammer. Maybe we'll even gain a second point, eh? Just maybe. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks. And I'll see you then. Later.